guys and welcome to another quick video tutorial here on the Kiki and Manny photography blog. My name is Manny and today's tutorial I want to show you guys a quick technique in Photoshop how to work with a clone stamp tool. Now if you're an advanced photoshopper this might be a bit boring. If you're new to Photoshop this might be a handy tutorial for you. Now in today's tutorial I'm not a wedding photographer at all but I can just imagine as a wedding photographer you would have sometimes a shot of a bride or groom and you have the perfect shot but there's just a small issue. You've got a person or an object or say a wall with something written on in the background and you just want to get rid of that. Now you are able to get rid of that by using the clone stamp tool technique in Photoshop. And in today's tutorial as you guys can see I've got this hand over here, I've got this ice cream, the person and the building in the background and these are all small issues that I actually want to get rid of. Now in today's Photoshop tutorial I quickly want to get rid of this ice cream down here and show you guys my way of doing it and maybe you can use this technique on your images as well. Alright, so first step that I'm going to do, I'm in my layers palette over here as you guys can see and I've got my original layer from the shooting and I'm going to double click on this and going to rename that to my original layer. Double click on here and rename that to original. The reason why I renamed that to original and why I keep it, it's also as a smart object as you see that. We talked about smart objects a while ago. The reason why I keep it in original format is that I'm going to create a duplicate now and if I mess up or if I have a mistake I can always fall back onto my original layer. So that's very important for me. Now next step, I'm going to drag it all the way down to my new layer icon and drop it over here. Then going to rename that again to original 1 or say maybe layer 1. Then layer one that's good for me if you want to you can also put a small word behind that calling it ice or whatever you wanted to remove and you know what you removed okay duplicate that layer go to press right click and going to say rasterize layer so my whole Mac works quicker okay next step that I'm going to do is move in with navigator and just zoom in onto the shot that or onto the image where I want to remove this okay so I've zoomed in into my image and zoomed onto the ice and as I can see the ice is pretty much going behind the hand so we should work with the pen tool as well. Alright, first step that I'm going to do is go over here and select my clone stamp tool and now this is pretty easy actually to work with the clone stamp tool you just first have to select the size you want to work with and the hardness. I'm going to select my hardness around 20% and leave my size around say 40%. You can go back and forth here in front to see what happens to your brush size. If I want to turn it up, you directly see a preview and you see that your brush size is super big. So I'm going to turn that all the way down, say to 40%, 41%, that's fine to me. Okay. Now next step that I will have to do is press Alt and, and cross or a target appears and you are actually able now to sample or select an area and sample that area and clone that over the ice. Now what this means is that I'm going to select an area from the grass and then going to paint that grass over the ice cream. Now you're sampling that area from here to there cloning it over the ice. Okay, let's do it. So I'm going to clone the area from here because that grass looks very good to me and looks pretty much the same, not the grass down here, that looks just way different. One tip that I can actually give you guys is if you're cloning, always have a look for textures and stuff like that so you are cloning the right texture or sampling an area that looks exactly the same. Now let's get started and I'll press target over here and going to sample this, the grass. Okay, all the way around the ice cream and going to paint it just a bit quicker paint all of that and as you guys already noticed I sampled this grass over here it looks pretty much the same so I'm going to sample from here again or maybe from here and paint over that and paint a bit around the fingers not too close I'm going to use the pen tool now now with the fingers and going to clone that area again and paint all the way around here and clone the ice cream going to clone again from here and clone that area Okay, and now I'm pretty much done. Going to move up and down just to have a look. Sample again from this area, clone over here a little bit. Okay, clone a bit from there back. And now next step I would have to do is move with my pen tool and just to make a nice path around these fingers. So we just make a small selection and we can actually clone quicker. Or you could have also cloned like this, but this is just uh, not working so nicely. We want to do it better, so we're going to use the pen tool for now. 
we discussed the pen tool in an earlier tutorial already. So I'm going to make a path now with this pen tool all the way all around the fingers. Made a mistake here, so I'm going to select that area, backspace, and select the next area again. Okay, all the way around. And over here, over there. Okay, all the way there. And over here, the finger. Making that round circle over there, over there. Okay. Now, just going to close my path again. Go all the way around. And press until the circle appears and you made a selection or a path. You closed your path. Now, we're going to make a selection by hitting right click. Make a selection. New window will pop up saying make a selection. Rendering one pixel. Yes, anti-aliases and operation new selection. Okay. We all, we want that. Then we're going to go back to our clone stamp tool over here. Select the clone stamp tool and going to move in on our image again. Press Alt to select an area again and we want to clone from here again. So I'm going to sample from this area and paint very closely to the fingers. No need to worry, you can only clone now in this selection. So if I'm painting here, nothing will happen. It will only happen if I paint in my selection. That's why we created a selection now with the pen tool just to work way, way quicker and easier. Okay. Zoom out a little bit again, press Command D to get rid of our selection and going to zoom out a little bit more and as you guys can see it looks pretty real to me. Okay, zoom out a little bit more so you guys can see the full image and now if I blend out my layer down here you guys can see the ice is back now, now is the ice gone and it looks pretty real to me. If you don't believe in yourself, go ask someone at home, maybe your wife or your husband and ask them if they can see a difference or spot the difference. And if not, or if they can see that there was Photoshop, then you did a pretty bad job. If they can't see anything, you know you did a good job. So blend it in and out, have a look again. And now I can apply that technique to the hand, to the building, and to everything else. Well, the building I would have most probably cut it out and merged in a new sky or a new background. That would be a pretty hard to just use the clone stamp. But with the person and the hand you can use the clone stamp tool and I just hope that you guys can apply that technique to some of your images. Hope you guys like this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching and see you next week on another Technical Wednesday Rundown. My name is Manny and thanks for watching. Bye bye.